Uzao kula ndotana. Uzao kula ube indota jingo ifu. Hush, my little baby. Hush, my little one. For I will build us a wooden hut beneath the sun, beneath the sleeping star. There in the sleeping field, I will sing to you, sing to you. Why? Sweetly dream. Juan, Juan, are you up? Yes. What time is it? It's early still. You're here. Oh, the first violets of the season. I picked them for you. When? This morning when I went to go give the cows their feed. In the dark. <laughs> I'm not afraid of the dark. I don't like you going out before the sun is up. Why didn't you call me? You look like you were tired. You look like you were dreaming. Have the cows gone up yet for milking? Mm. I think I had their bells go by in my dreams. Dreams? <laughs> Day dreams, maybe. <laughs> but I had them go by either way. <laughs> These curtains, Yarma? Cheerful. I don't like people looking in. And who would be looking in? I don't like being on display. But ours is nobody else's business but our own. You're leaving? I'm already late. For what? The fields? <laughs> of course. They're your fields. They will wait for you. You have to eat something. I'll eat after. Won't you have a cup of tea at least? What for? For nourishment. For strength. What do you think feeds those bones of yours? It's no wonder you're so thin. You work too hard. Men who work hard are usually thin and strong. You don't get arms like these by sitting around eating your food. I liked your arms much better on our wedding day. <laughs> these days I hardly know you. You look like my husband, but you're paler, more thin. 
Maud Brown. You look like half my husband. Tell me, where do you leave the other half? Eh? Out on the fields. What good is it to anyone out there? Let's go to the river and have a swim. Eh? It would do you good to feel the rush of water about you. It would put some life back into you. It's already been two years since we were done. You're already disappearing before my eyes. It's fact you should be getting out the other way around. Well, don't look at me if you don't like what you see. Huh? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. I only want to be looking after you, that's all. If I wasn't well, I'd want you to be saying, Oh, my poor Yerma, I'm going to kill our fatty lamb and make her a stew. Or I'll grab my Yerma some sheepskin and warm her tiny feet warm from the cold. I would love that. I would. To have you doing little kind things for me. I just like looking after you, that's all. You like looking after me? I do. So why won't you let me? Because there is nothing wrong with me, Yarma. I might be thin from the work, but I am strong and I am healthy. You can't conjure up a sickness just to have something to fuss about. I, <laughs> I am just getting older, is all. <coughs> Every day I just get a little bit older. Every day. Every day in this house is the same. Nothing ever changes. Are you not content? Hey. Our life is good, peaceful. Our farm is thriving. We have no children to torment us. <laughs> no, we have no children. Yet. We have no children yet. Why? What? You know I love you. I know. I hear stories all the time about women who go to their wedding beds shaking and crying. I didn't cry, did I? I remember singing and pulling back at the sheets and saying apples. This sheet smell of apples. Remember? I remember. I didn't even cry when I had to say goodbye to my mother. I should have been upset to be leaving her, but I wasn't. I was happy to be moving on, to be getting married to you, to be starting my own house, my own family. Don't. Don't what? Talking about it is not going to help. But I need to talk about it. My body wants to give life. It wants to grow. Even the bloody weeds grow. Rain falls there in the crack somewhere, a tiny seed is fed, and it grows and grows. And what use to anyone are weeds, and yet they're still allowed to grow? What kind of a cruel God does that? What kind of a God says, yes, yes, weeds can grow, weeds can give life, but as for Yerma, I see them waving in the breeze, the yellow flowers like little hands mocking me. Even we grow, Yerma, even we grow. <laughs> we must be patient. We must wait. But I am waiting. I'm doing nothing else. Anything you need. Anything at all. All you have to do is ask and I will get it for you. Huh? Anything? Yes, anything. What if the thing I want cannot be bought? Just stay indoors. I am happier when I know you are here at our home and not out there fumbling in the dark. You belong here. Do I? Of course. Each thing has its place and yours is here. I know. So you'll be here. You'll stay here. I will. One. in the yard, the wind sings, sings in the air, the cow low lows to the farmer, the moon sends me curls for my hair. What do you need, my sweet young one, hiding so far away? Hmm? I need your sweet breast to rest my head, mama, and your loving arms to guide my way. I see the trees wave their
the branches in the sunlight and I watch the river bubble over the brook. What do you need, my sweet young one? Shall I break and bend into two? My body is craving to hold and cradle you. When, you, when will you come, my sweet young one? When will you come? When will you come? Yeah, ma! Maria! Yeah, yeah! Thank God! Hey, why are you so lady? <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing, why? Your cheeks are flushed. Are you not well? I am very well. I just ran all the way from the shop. Ask me what I bought. Oh, I don't know. At this hour, <laughs> breakfast, <laughs> milk, tea, bread. Feel the cool air on my skin. What for? 
I don't know, isn't that how you catch a spirit wandering around in the dark? <laughs> you catch your death, Molly. Oh, but it makes me feel better. It makes me feel alive. You know, my aunt had a child after 14 years. <laughs> 14 years? Really? Really? And he was the most gorgeous thing ever. Oh, Feisty wow. too. His cry could be heard all across the village. It sounded like a thousand calves wailing for their mother's milk. Oh. But as he grew, mm. he was so troublesome, pulling out our hair and scratching our faces. Eh, eh. But that's what little <laughs> boys do, I suppose. They don't mean any harm. Such trouble he was. Maria, it's meant to be trouble. It's not meant to be easy. I once saw my own sister crying with pain as she was breastfeeding her little boy. But that pain is a good pain. It's a healthy pain. Healthy for the baby, maybe. Or maybe I just have to accept that there are hard times ahead. You make it sound like a burden. It's not. Only weak mothers say that, Maria. No, it's not meant to be easy. And yes, I'm sure there will be hard times. I once was told that a woman loses half her blood supply during childbirth. But what does that matter if she has the other half to keep her alive? That's what her blood is there for, to have four or five babies. And I can imagine that if she doesn't have those babies, her blood starts to turn sour. It starts to kettle in her veins. But we must be patient. We must wait. Of course it will happen for you. It has to happen for you. Look at me. I am shaking. Why am I shaking? <laughs> You're just excited. Give yourself time to get used to it. Are you sure? Are you sure I'm not going to be a terrible mother? How, when, how could you be? I don't know. I don't even know how to sew. I'll probably ruin them. Fine, I'll do it. You will? You know I will. <laughs> I'll make two suits with this. And then what's this for? For nappies. Nappies, of course. I better go. I'll come back and see you later. Take your time. And remember what I said, Maria. <laughs> hey, and don't run over the cobblestones. that you're making? Uh, nappies. Oh. Wonderful. I'm going to trim them with lace. Mm. If it's a girl, name her after you, Ngosaza. Why? I'm happy for both of you. No! No, they call Maria. Oh! Oh, my head! 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 Oh, do you... Go on. Watch Juan to come and get his lambs from the field. I will, I will. Open him jail to spend more time in his home with his wife, investing in the future. <laughs> I will tell him. Osasan Bugat, Wom Chen, Uti Juan, take the plunge. I'll tell him. Take that plunge, Juan, take that plunge. My sweet young one, I don't care if you break me into two. My womb was meant to hold and cradle you. When will you come, my sweet young one? 
When will you come? When your skin smells as sweet as jasmine. And maybe a little too much. How long are you married? Three years. Any children? <laughs> <laughs> no, we have none yet. Not to worry. There's plenty of time for that. Plenty. Do you think so? Hey, I do, of course. If anyone would know, it would be me. Haven't I nine children? How? All boys. Nine shining sons with not a girl amongst them, so I'm forever running in between them. I am still taking my husband his lunch up to today. Mm. I have no girl to send with it over the fields. Mm. <coughs> They're good, aren't they? Delicious. From my own garden. You're from over the river. That's right, near the mill. I once met you as a little girl. You used to sell dried rose heap at the market? I did indeed. You once gave me a lavender posy to catch bad dreams for my pillow. I've had it for years after. Our tongue, you knew my father, Enrique. Hey! 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 I knew him, and well I did. He was a good man, mm. hard working. Lived to work, and so he did. Got up, worked hard, ate his fill of bread, and died. Never a moment for resting. <laughs> and they were a quiet people always. Silent creatures till their death. Hey, mm. <laughs> you know, I almost married an uncle of yours. Really? Hey, but I couldn't do it to him. I was much too wild. <laughs> I was always a woman who wanted to feel the wind in her skirts, mm. who wanted to be dancing at the parties, who wanted to lick the icing off the cake. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Ever think <coughs> you can hear music in the night time only to rush outside and find it's just the wind? Never mind. Tell you what, this will make you laugh. In my time, I have had 14 children. How? 14. What? And I watched five of them die, but I didn't let it crush me. Most women are too soft, you see. That's why I keep to myself. I look at a tree, and I see how long it lasts. And I look at a stone wall, and I see how long it lasts. And as far as I can see, 
It's only women who set to crumbling at the smallest thing. Can I ask you something? No. I already know what you are going to ask. No, we don't speak about such things. Why not? Who am I supposed to speak about these things to? Am I supposed to whisper them to the stones? Ahuma, oh, speaking to you today has given me so much hope. I've been dying for the chance to speak to a wise woman such as yourself. Please, tell me. Tell you what? Tell me the things that you know that I do not. Why is it that you can have 14 and I can't even have one? Surely there must be something we can do? What do you want me to tell you? I just lay on my back and I sang like the birds and my sons came like flowing water. <laughs> what else is there to say? Aren't you beautiful? Isn't that enough for you? What good is it to be beautiful? What does being beautiful give you? Nothing. Oh, ma, please tell me. Hey, there are things I could tell you, but I shouldn't. I won't. Why? It's all I can think of. I have my poor husband driven pure mad from talking about it. Please, ma. All right. Listen. Carefully. Do you love him? What? Your husband, do you love him? Do you dream about the moments when you are with him? I don't know. Do you tremble when he comes close to you? Do you feel a kind of sunlight beneath your skin when he kisses your lips? I, I, I don't know, no. It's never, it's never been like that with Juan. Never! A man has never before set butterflies dancing in your stomach. No! Lies! I told you I see things. No point in spinning tales for me. Okay, well, once... I might have felt that way once or twice with Victor. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> you can trust me. Once he held my waist with his hands and I couldn't speak, I couldn't even breathe. It was as if all the words had just abandoned me. And there was another time when he was 13 or 14 and already so strong as a man. He lifted me from one side of the stream to the other. He just picked me up like I was no lighter than a feather. When I was shaking, pressed on his chest like that, I was trembling so much I bit my own tongue. And what about your husband? No, my father picked him for me and I was happy to take him. You see, I had a choice and I chose him. With, with one, I can breathe easy, I can, I can think, I can be within myself. Sometimes I think I see my own children in his eyes. He used to look at me in such a way, like I was good as gold and obedient. Like a child. That's the problem right there. It won't happen like that. It has to be born out of lust. Men have to want us, child. They have to want to rip off your skirt and rip out your hair. There has to be passion. That's how it works. Hey, and you have to want him too. Ah, not for me. I can't just give myself away for pleasure without any thought of what might come. Well, you asked me and now I've told you. Your belly is empty because there is no passion in your bed. So is it my fault? Am I supposed to want him and nothing more? And where does that leave me? Crying and whimpering over him while he tends to sleep. Hey, my body needs more. Well, aren't you the picture of virtue? Don't ask me any more about it. I don't want to be the one to take your decency away from you. But you need to grow up, child. You need to see the world for what it is. You need to see more, you need to learn more. Learn? And where do I learn around here? Nothing is ever spoken in words. Everything is just in sighs and whispers and gestures. Even you won't tell me anything. Can't you see I'm dying of thirst and yeah, you're yeah. holding a jug of water? Maybe if you are calmer. <laughs> Trust me, child. I am older than you. I know what I'm saying. Then God help me. God, is it? You know, I never liked God. Never trusted him even. When are you not going to realize that there is no one up there? There is no God to answer your prayers. Don't send him that he's not there. You must look to men for that. Why would you say such a thing? Well, there should be a God. Even if he be so tiny as the size of my thumb, there should be someone to strike down men of evil seed who threaten to destroy a healthy crop. I don't understand. I... Don't fret, child. Put your faith in yourself. 
Not in God. You are still young. What do you want me to say? Today. Aren't we supposed to be feeding up poor men while they're slaving out there in the fields all night and day? We do, unfortunately. Yo, they saying it's the biggest harvest for 10 years. You? Mm. Are you walking away? No, no, in a way. Okay. I really should go. I left my little boy asleep and there's no one at home. Hey, you can't leave children on their own. It's not safe. I know that. Didn't, didn't I say I'm going? Well, go on <laughs> That's exactly how accidents happen. You didn't even lock the door. Well, of course I did. He's safely inside. Hey, what is safe to you could be very little to a small child. Uh, and little he lies in the flat stone. I Yourself, you wouldn't be so precious. Hey, if I had a hundred, I would be the same. No matter. It's well for us anyway. No kids to be rushing home to to be worrying about. Ours is a peaceful life. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Are you dying to have one? <laughs> My mother has me plagued with herbs, and in October, she's taking me on a pilgrimage to bribe some saint to make me pregnant. <laughs> She'll be on her knees, wringing her hands. But I can assure you, I will be on my two feet. Well, then why did you get married? Sure, what else would I do? The only single women around here are the children. And even they are married off long before they can say their prayers. Oh, that's the want of the old ones. Get the little ones paired off before they can cause any trouble. Pardon, I'm only 19 for God's sake. And I'm supposed to spend my day cooking and cleaning. Do you like excited rapping, man? And what is the point of it all? <laughs> you know, sometimes, sometimes I wish you were just my lover. I mean, we do everything now that we did then anyway. And the only difference is now I have to look after him. Yarma, marriage is all nonsense. Old ones, ways, and ideas. I'd rather be free and single. Aren't you afraid someone out here might just hear you? Uh -uh. So what if they hear me? <laughs> you think I worry that they might say I'm mad? Ne? What is mad about speaking your mind? <clears throat> hey, Ella, wouldn't we all prefer to be out here than locked up inside? You speak like a child, man. Maybe so, but that doesn't make me wrong. Your mother stays in the cottage with the red door. She does. What's her name? Dolores, what? Oh, no matter. <laughs> no matter? No. Fine then. You have. I'm <clears throat> off to be the dutiful wife. You know, I would move a lot more faster if you were still my lover. <laughs> I'm off. The crazy girl is off. No. <laughs> Langa. 
As I sing when I'm happy, would I, I could give some of it to you, Yerma. Hey. Don't always be so sad, Nkosaza. There's still the sun in the sky. And that husband of yours is the same. He is West. He is West. West. He is sad. He is old. Old before his time. He was old the day he was born. <laughs> I suppose you're taking him his lunch. I was. Your face. What about it? You look like you have a mark, I like know. a bell. I don't go, Susan. Oh, where, Yerma? How? It ain't none unless you go, Susan. How is it, Ruto Lopo? Where? It doesn't look fine to me. Oh, Suga, Yerma, I'm not Ruto Lopo. I'm not Susan. I'm not Susan. I'm not Susan. Did you hear that? Hear what? It sounded like a child. No, I didn't hear anything, Kosasa. Where? Somewhere near to us. It sounded like a child that was drowning and needed to be saved. Aibo, 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 Aibo! Here, my Kosasa, Kosasa, no! You know, children come up to the village to steal fruit. No, Victor, it doesn't sound like a child that's climbing trees. Kosasa, no! I thought you were going home. You were going home. I was. I just stopped for a stopped moment. Stopped for what? To breathe, to, to think, to feel the sun on my skin, to hear the birds sing. Am I not allowed to stop for a moment? Am I not allowed to do that? Am I always supposed to be in constant motion? Look at the dirt on your feet, Yerma. This is exactly what gets people talking, spreading rumors. What are you talking about? I am talking about people. Other people who will see you here and will talk. Let them talk. Let them talk all night and day. Let them talk until their tongues fall out of their mouth. Yarma, it is not right for a woman to say such things. And am I a woman, Juan? And if I am, show me! I have to go back to the eastern fields. Juan, will I wait up for you? I will be in the fields all night. Go home, Yarma. Sleep.
give her children? Shouldn't he be at least kind to her? Ah. It's her own fault entirely. Mm. Every time she opens her mouth, she starts a fire. Mm. 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 What devil is in you that you could be so cruel to her? What has she ever done to you? Oh. you what has she ever done to you? So she's not gone wrong? Did she say where she was going? I have told you not to let her go out alone. Don't prepare the meal. I'm starving and I am exhausted and I come on to this. Hey. All day I was in that field, the whole day long. And when it starts to get dark, I realize not only have I not eaten anything, but I'm too weak to bring even a single apple to my mouth. What is the point, I ask myself? All of this hard work for nothing. <laughs> I've told you, one of you must always go with her. That is why I have brought you here. Not just to eat my food and drink my wine. My work might be out on the land, but my honor, my honor is here at home. And do not forget, my yeah. honor, it's also your honor. Never mind. Just try and do what I ask of you from now on. Don't let her go out alone. You were at the well? I was. I I just went to go get some fresh water for dinner. How was your day at the field? I was in the orchard. Are you staying in for the night? I have to see to the kettle, Yarma. It is my duty. Of course it's your duty. 
You must be very much at peace with yourself at that land. You can't be at peace when you constantly worry. You worry? You know well I do, and you know well why. Oh, please, can we just talk about something else? My cattle, they stay in their fields. But you will not stay in your home. How many times do I have to tell you? You go out far too much. How can you expect me to stay in a house that's as dead as a tomb? <laughs> a house should have signs of life. It should be lived in. The chairs should be broken with use. The sheets should be worn out. But that doesn't happen here, does it, Juan? You know I have reason to ask this of you. You know I have reason to be concerned. Concerned? Concerned about what? I live every single day in this house alone for you. And whatever feelings I keep, I keep locked up inside. You don't make any sense when you speak, Yerma. I mean, I even buy you these expensive treats that you like from the town. What other wife can say that? So I am not good to you, huh? <laughs> I know I might not be perfect, but all I want is for us to be, live a peaceful life. To be able to go and sleep on my land. I know that you are asleep in our bed. But I don't sleep. I cannot sleep. Why? What is wrong, Dharma? Is there something you need? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, there is something I need. Still, you are obsessing over this still. It's all I can think of. Then why don't you bring one of your brother's children here? I wouldn't mind. No! I couldn't look after someone else's child then perhaps you have to accept things the way they are. For as long as I can breathe, I will not accept anything. You can bind my jaw shut with your pretty scarves. Maybe then I'll be free to accept. Maybe when I'm dead, you can stuff my arms and my legs into a coffin. I'll be free to accept things then, but not until But what can we do, Yarma? Yarma, what is it that you want? Punishing me for something I can do nothing about. I'm sorry, I don't even know who I am anymore. Just let me go out. Just let me go out. Let me go out for a breath of fresh air. Let me go clear my mind. Why have I given you reason not to trust me? I don't like people looking at me. Hmm? I don't like people pointing at me, Yarma. All I want is for you to stay indoors and keep that door locked. It's not a sin talking to someone. But it can look that way, huh? Don't you see, I am not able for this. I haven't the strength. All I want is to live a peaceful life. When people speak to you, walk on. And remember, you are a married woman. Married? And remember that honor is of great importance to me, even if not to you. Why are you looking at me that way? It is you who have done wrong, Yarma, not me. I could just lock you up here. That is my right as your husband. I could just lock you up in just this house. It, just let it be, Juan. Just let it be. It's fine. 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 We will eat. Did you hear me? I'm not hungry. You can go eat with your sisters. As you wish. Please, child, please, lift the veil between my pain and my happiness. All I ask for as a child and all I get are pale flowers, the color of the moonlight. My breasts are hard birds waiting to nourish you. Blinded they are by the lack of you. They are doves, not white, but blind. My blood is aching to be let of you. It stings my belly skin like wasps. You must arrive, my child, you must arrive. 
that water flows into water. My womb was meant to hold you like the cloud was meant for rain. Yerma? Maria, what are you doing outside in the rain? Just don't like to bring the baby in. It always seems to upset you. It does, doesn't it? Two babies in three years, Maria, you really have been blessed. What's the matter? Makes me sad to think of you sitting here, envying me. It's not envy that I'm suffering from, it's a kind of poverty. A kind that sees you rich and me without. You have other things to keep you happy. I know, but it, I can't control it. It, it, it. it takes over everything. You take him. He's much happier in your arms. Irma. Maybe my arms are just not meant to hold babies. Irma. I'm so fed up of having a woman's body and not being able to use it. I see everything around me is giving life. I see the fountains are gushing with water. I see the sheep with their hundreds of lambs, the dogs with their dozens of puppies. Everything is giving its offspring out on my display of. Hush now. You don't understand, how could you? You go over this again and again. It's not good for you. I know. I think eventually I'll just be my own child. I'll be my own son. Maria. Some nights I go out to give the cows their fodder and that's something we women just don't do around here. And every time I walk past the lean-to, I hear my footsteps ringing in my ears like a man's. Why don't you tell Juan how you feel? He knows, but it's three against one here, Maria. And I'd rather drop dead than to speak another word to his sisters. What can they be thinking to keep you this way? They think I love another man, even though they know that my honor and my duty would prevent me from being. table. He puts a roof over my head. Is that the same as love? You have been given a great cross to carry, Irma. Take strength in the Lord's suffering. Is he waking up? Yes, yes. Oh, witty, he has your eyes, Maria. Juan Ho. Yes. <laughs> uh, the blouse. I'll bring the blouse later. Whenever you like. Will you sit? No. I'm fine standing. What? Actually, I've come to say goodbye. Oh, I suppose you're living with your brothers. That's what my father wants here, ma. He is old. Getting very old. 
Well, I guess you're doing the right thing. A change of scenery would be good for you. New fields to work on. All fields look the same to me, Yerba. Same sheep with the same wood. <laughs> Said like a man. Women are different altogether. You know, I've never once heard one say one eating. These yes, apples are delicious. He just eats. He just gets the job done without paying any close attention to detail. I notice these things. It's different for me. And I've come to hate the waters that we draw from the wells around here. I believe that if I went somewhere much further away, it would taste much sweeter. Maybe you're right. Victor. Yes. Why are you really leaving? You know there are people around here that care for you. I've done my best, Yerma. I've kept my nose clean. Oh, Victor. Do you remember once when we were very young, you lifted me from one side of the stream to the other? You never know how things will turn out once you set to a certain path. Time changes everything, Yerma. Not everything. Some things are the same. Some things are hidden deep behind walls so that no one can ever hear about them or see them. And I can imagine that if those things were to be said out aloud, into the air, they would overturn the whole world. Even if these things were to be spoken, Yerma, nothing would change. The water would still flow in the same direction. The sheep would continue to graze in their fold, and the men would continue to work. Nothing would change. If we could all be so free of passion, you sound like such an old man. You are leaving already. I want to be through the pass by dawn. Any complaints about the price I paid? Not one. You were always a fair payer. I brought his flocks from you. You did? They're yours now, Yerma. I didn't know. Well, you know now. Your husband will eventually see his land besting at the seams. Well, nothing pleases one more than to see his animals multiply. Well, I am happy with what I have now. I have no more room for livestock. Oh, you have plenty of money. I will see you as far as the river. I wish you both the best. I wish this house much happiness. I hope God hears your prayers. Goodbye. Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were saying something. No, I said goodbye. Take care. You too, Nkosaza. Take care. Yerma! Yerma? Yerma! Never have I seen such courage. When a woman has a little something, nothing in this world can cheat you. But the graveyard has fucked you, Doctor. Many a time I've said these prayers with women in the graveyard, each one of them trembling and whining with fear, each one of them there is except you. That graveyard was dark, but I knew what I had to do, and I knew that you could help me. And why wouldn't you? May I be struck down dead with ants feeling off my tongue, if I so much as told a lie. You will have a child, Yerma. I promise you. I That's will, okay. because I have to, or else I don't understand one thing about what this world is about. Sometimes when I think I might never be a mother, I feel this great fire take hold of me, and my body becomes hollow and empty. And all the earthly things, like the men and the bulls and the stones, seem to be made of cotton wool, and I ask myself, what am I here for? Here, I know you want a child. But if it won't happen, then why break your heart over it? 
I'm not criticizing you. You saw how I said the prayers with you, but I think you must just be content with what you have. And what have I? You have the love of your husband, and he's a good man. So what if he's good? So what? I wish he was bad, but he isn't. He spends his day working the land, and when he comes home, he, he counts his money when the sun has set, and when he makes love to me. I can feel he only does it because he has to, because it's his duty. Ma, I'm no pilot, but even I know that it takes a man and a woman to make a child. God, if only I could do it on my own. If I could just free my body's craving from it. Well, you cannot forget that your husband is also in pain. My husband? I see no sign of his pain. What if all of this is because I just don't love him, Mila? What then? Does it even matter? He's my only hope. If I am to stay true to my family and my honor, then he's my only hope. You don't understand. It's going to be morning soon. You had better be off home. How many times must I say the prayers? You should say the prayers twice a day. And when you're pregnant, you can bring me the I can see the sun coming over the hills. We need to go. Was I crazy for coming here? Oh. Have you regret so soon? No. If it's scared that you are, then I'll walk with you. But it's going to be broad daylight. But I can't get home. Like, shush. There's no one there. God be with you. Jarma! Here she is. Yes, here I am. What are you doing here? Well, why don't you speak? Do you want me to scream and shout? Do you want me to make a scene in front of the whole village? Go on then, scream. I'll scream louder. Loud enough to wake up the dead. Anything to convince you that I've done nothing tonight or any other. Done nothing wrong? How can I believe you? You lie to me. You spin me in so many cycles, I cannot think straight. Go on. Nothing out of you. Your wife has done nothing wrong. She has been doing it since the day we were married. Oh, stop it. I can't take it anymore, Yarma. A woman who wants to plunge her fingers into my heart. Who goes out in the night searching for what, That's Yarma? That's enough. That's enough. My family's honor is whiter than your own. Come close. Come smell me. Come see if you can find a smell that is outside of your own. You can spit me, throw me in the cows like naked, strip me naked and spit on me if you want. But don't accuse me of, of being with another man. I am not the one accusing you. Your behavior has set tongues on fire. People are talking about it in the open. And whenever I come here, they become dumb. They become silent. I wake in the fields. Even the leaves on the trees become silent. Is that my fault? What else can be said of a woman who leaves her home in the dead of night? Don't tell me you are picking flowers, Yarma. What is it you are searching for? I'm searching for you! I'm searching for you night and day without resting! It's your own that my body is searching for! Don't push me aside! Why can't you want what I want? Shut your mouth! Can't you see it's a long me eventually? Like the moon looking for herself through the sky? I said, yes. shut your mouth! I... Is enough of your talking. We are leaving.
Blessed are the fruits of your womb. Blessed are you amongst the women.
light shining through the darkness of an angel perched on high with wings spread like storm clouds looking down with sad eyes at one rose slowly fading its milky leaves sending droplets to the sleeping stars oh lord let your flower bloom leave it not in the shade oh lord listen to those who beg for your forgiveness in this holy place upon my hollow flesh plant a rose to make one wonder <coughs> She stood to go, and fifteen times they joined as one on a bed of orange flowers. Play to her with your horn, toss the rose and let Umakoti dance. Oh, how sad! Thank you. 
what you know. You don't believe in all of this, do you? Is your husband with you? He's with the others. Doing what? Drinking. Mm. All of this is just pointless. Enough Probably. of that talk now. Where is your spirit? I have things to tell you. Things which I couldn't say before, but which I can say now. I know everything. There's nothing else that needs to be what said. What I have to say, I can no longer keep to myself. It's your husband's fault. Eh? Are you listening? May my hands be cut from my arms if I tell a lie. Neither him, nor his father, nor his great-grandfather were made from anything other than spittle and bones. It's a wonder they managed to breathe at all. But you, on the other hand, you are cut from a different cloth entirely. You have husbands, brothers, and cousins all over the country. This is not your fault, Tiago. It's a curse that has befallen your lovely self. A curse? Your words are poison to my ears. you don't have to be. You have your feet to carry me away, haven't you? Me? Leave, and where would I go? When I saw you here, my heart sank. Women only come here to pray for babies, and the supposed holy one is given the credit for performing the miracle. Dear mama, my son is sitting behind the barn and he's waiting. My house needs a woman. Come up with me and the three of us will be <laughs> <laughs> If you come and see my son, he has strong oxen blood running through his veins like me. <laughs> In my house, the smell of children lingers still. The dead ashes of your bed will turn into lace for your baby's gown. You mustn't worry about what other people say, for it's your life and yours alone. And as for your husband, don't worry. We have plenty of ways preventing him even crossing the river. Yay! Silence! That's not what I want. Can you even imagine me trying? Can you imagine me looking for a man? Where exactly are you trying to bury my own head? Over by the river within your house, by the mill with your son. You can't make a river flow the other way. You can't make the moon come out in the daytime. And you can't make me something that I am not. So away with you. Did you honestly think that I could go giving myself away to a man? That I should go crawling for something that is already mine, like a slave? Look, I've made my decision and I will stick with it. So hear me now. Never speak to me again. When one is thirsty, one should be grateful for the chance of water. I know what I am. <laughs> go on as you are. Just like the thistles that choose to live in the dry lands. In the dry, prickly, and barren lands. Barren, yes, I'm aware of that. I don't need you coming here reminding me. I don't need you coming here enjoying my pain like a child pulling at the small wings of a fly and watching it squirm. Or maybe I should thank you. It's been a long time since I've heard that word. It's the first time that it's been said to my face. It doesn't seem so terrifying anymore. You won't get any sympathy from me. <laughs> I'll find my son another wife. <laughs> <laughs> Take any more of this madness, prayers, rituals, things that are up in the air. Up in the air. Things that cannot be tied down or looked at. Go on. I said go on. These things, they hold no value to me. I only care about 
what I can hold in my two hands, what I can see with my two eyes. That's the truth within you. That's the truth. I knew it, I knew it, but I, I couldn't feel it until you said the went out into the air, until you gave them flight. It doesn't matter to you. I heard it from your own lips. Life is much simpler without children. It is sweeter. I am happy the way things are. We are not to blame. What about the rest, Juan? What about the child? Do I need to shout for you to accept it? It doesn't matter to me. All this time I've been pining away and you've never wanted one. Never. Even if it was what I wanted. Am I not even allowed to hope? <laughs> what is the point? And you never even hoped to begin with. You must accept it now. Childless. 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 Let's just live together, you and I, simply, willingly. Hold me. What for? What for? Because I want you, huh? <laughs> you are very beautiful in the moment. So this is it. It will be just the two of us like this forever. This is what I have chosen. This. You know, I don't like the way you're touching me like I'm something you want to eat. Kiss me. Certain now. I can breathe. I can sleep. I can sleep without wondering whether my blood has formed into another's. Whether a miracle has happened. My belly is now empty, and empty it will stay forever. <laughs> I only 
child. <laughs>